Okay, guys, facts, more types of trolls. Ba -boo -boo -boo! The flame warrior. Let's say you're having a surprisingly positive conversation about politics and then the flame warrior shows up. This person watches news feeds closely and will copy and paste fake news items within seconds and then reference almost any historical event and apply their logic to the present regardless of the context. The insult troll. Just a pure hater. Pure and simple. They don't even have a reason to hate or insult somebody. These types of trolls will often pick on everyone and anyone, calling them names, accusing them of certain things, doing anything they can to elicit a negative emotional response just because they can. In many cases, this type of trolling can become so severe it can lead to or be considered a serious form of cyberbullying. The persistent debate troll. This type of troll loves a good argument. They can take great, thoroughly researched and fact-based pieces of content and come at it from different angles to challenge its message. They believe they're right and everyone else is wrong. You'll often find them leaving long threads of arguments with other commenters in community comment sections and they're always determined to have the last word, continuing to comment until every other user gives up. This is also a form of sea lioning. This tactic, named after an online comic, involves the troll asking relentless questions about the topic of discussion, even after the opponent has explained in detail numerous times. When called out, the troll will argue they're just being civil, they just wanna learn, they just wanna know, but in reality, their game is to keep the opponent online as long as possible, derailing the original conversation and making the opponent frustrated and angry. So when they get frustrated and angry, they can say, whoa, whoa, why are you being so unreasonable? The ad hominem troll, short for argumentum ad hominem. Ad hominem is a Latin phrase that translates as to the person. It describes a rhetorical strategy where the speaker attacks something personal about their opponent, such as their character, motive, or other such attribute, instead of attacking the substance of the argument itself. Online trolling often relies on ad hominem attacks to derail the discussion. It is an unsophisticated technique. Cannibal trolls, a troll that spends time troll baiting other trolls, wasting the time of those most intent on wasting the time of others. For instance, a cannibal troll could post something like, hi, does anyone know if it's possible to use a background that would essentially turn my computer monitor into a mirror, scanning a mirror doesn't work. They would do this purposely to attract trolls and feed off their negative comments. The concern troll, a person who posts on a thread in the guise of concern to disrupt the dialogue or undermine the morale by pointing out that the original poster or other commenters may be getting themselves into trouble, usually with an authority or power. They point out problems that don't really exist. The intent is to derail, stifle, control the dialogue. It is viewed as insincere and condescending. The non-reader troll, this is the person who read maybe a sentence out of an entire post. I don't read what you said, but here's my opinion about it.